Ming Zia Lakshmi Naurem, I na talk to the class 3, 4 and 5 ki English. Hello children, let's do lesson number 8 of class 5, Hizam Irabot, a hero of Manipur. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Hizam Irabot. And we will come to know why Hizam Irabot is called a hero of Manipur. Listen very carefully. Let me read it for you. There was a time in Manipur during which the common people suffer terribly. Besides social divisions, they were religious discriminations too. The people were made of pay tax even for putting sandan on their faces. The condition of the poor people, particularly the peasants and the laborers was very bad. In this paragraph, it, uh, it told us that once in Manipur, the common people are faced many problems very badly. They have to face social divisions and religious discrimination. Discrimination habadi tunga nal thamba mayanga manahanda baduni ka. They have to pay tax for putting chandan on their faces. Chandan thin bagi tax lawe habani. And their condition is very bad, mostly the peasants and the laborer. In the midst of the social inequality and the religious excesses, a precious child was born in a poor family at Impal, the capital of Manipur. The child grew up to lead the people of Manipur and fight against the social evils and injustice. He is none other than our beloved leader, Hizam Irabot. He was born on 30th September 1896 at Pisum Oinam In the memory of our departed leader, we observe his birthday as Irabot Day every year. During the social divisions and the religious discrimination in a very poor family, Hizam Irabot was born at Pishum Oinam Lekai. We celebrate Irabot Day in each year of 30th September to show our regard to him. He was born on the 30th September. 1896. Let's read next. Right from his childhood, Irabot grew up fighting against injustice and inequality. Once while he was reading in class 5th standard in Johnstone School, a teacher beat a student very severely. He even kicked the student with his boot. Young Irabot could not tolerate it. He organized the students of the class and put a strong protest against the excess of the teacher. It turned out to be the first student strike in Manipur. In this paragraph, it is told that Irabot grew up by fighting the fighting against the inequalities and injustice injustice hai badi ko lan ba aran ba to buduni ko inequality mana da ba mayam se fight tong no pole hai bani when he was reading in class 5 a teacher beat a student very badly he learned in johnstone school and he organized a uh, a strong protest against the teacher as the teacher even kicked the student with his boot and the protest was the first student strike in Manipur. Let's read the next para. Irabut was very bright and well-disciplined student. He also took part in many co-curricular activities like singing, acting, sports, debating and recitation. Hizam Irabot was a very good student and he took part in many other co-curricular activity. Co-curricular activity He took part in recitation, training tiba, debating competition, sport, singing, acting, etc. 
The then king of Manipur knew his talents and gave Princess Komdonchna in marriage to him. He was also appointed the member of Sadar Panchayat Court, but Irabod gave up honor and comfort to fight for the downtrodden people of Manipur. The then king of Manipur, he know the talent of Irabod and he gave his daughter Princess Komdonshina in marriage with his Irabot and he was appointed as a member of Chadar Panjait court but Irabot gave up everything to fight against the injustice for the people of Manipur. Manipur gil untrodden downtrodden oiraba downtrodden haibadi yam handana leiraba adugumba singdo adugi mudamakta honana ba manga saige ona they comfort Nungaya Pava Mayam the Loy Hundu Omega. Irabot always stood up against any wrongdoing that he come across. In December 1939, the women of Manipur revolted against the government for causing scarcity of food. They were severely wounded because of the burn and charge by the soldiers. Iravot stood against the any wrongdoing means Aran Batorakpa. Aran Batorapu Kudimas there. Man hit thing over the Kedok have the Iravot have to stood against it and it filed part for the people. In December 1939, the women of Manipur revolt against the then, the then government as the government cause the scarcity of food scarcity have the what han ba doni chinja what han ba gi da makta the women of manipur revolt against them and the women were very badly wounded because of the bayonet bayonet hai ba di changin ko nung mai gi maton da ha pa atum ba doni changin the women are charged with the bayonet so they wounded very badly in a public meeting irabot said we have back rice, but they have given us blood. We should avenge this. For saying so, Irabot was arrested and imprisoned in the Impal jail in 1940. Irabot always stood against the downtrodden and fight for the poor people. When women rose against the government, Irabot helped them and in a public meeting he said we have back for Aish means Cheng Ni Bani Habako but they have given us blood means they have wanted us and we should avenge this means we should revenge for this. There he showed the prisoners ill treated and tortured he immediately organized the prisoners and launched a strike. In jail, he saw all the ill-treated people and they are tortured by the jailer, so he organized a strike for the prisoners. The jailer was mad to correct his mistakes. Irabod was put many times in prison in the course of his struggle for freedom and justice. Irabot always stood against the government. For this, he has been put in jail many times uh, for his struggle for freedom and for justice. Justice achum bagida makta, ningkha tam na bagida makta, mana lanting na bagi, he was put many times in the jail. Manipur became a part of India in 1949 but inequality between the rich and the poor still remain. When Manipur became a part of India in the year 1949, there is inequality between the people, between the rich people and the poor people. Irabot continued to fight for the rights of the peasants and the bringing social equality. He demanded that the peasants stood on the paddy fields. Irabut always fought for the poor people. 
he want and he demanded that peasants should have on their own land that is paddy field lobuk leigadabani haiba ko lomi singsina later he had to leave manipur but he did not live long he died of typhoid in myanmar on september 26 1951 it about fought for the poor people after some time that is after 1949 he had to leave manipur and he went to other country and he died in september 26 1951 at myanmar in recognition of his valuable services the government of india has issued a commemorative postal stamp in his name india government know the value of his services so a postal stamp was released in his name irabot is no more however he had left everlasting footprints Manipur has given birth to a man who gave of his life for his motherland. Irabot had died, but he had left uh, an everlasting footprints. Means footprints have been confirmed. Have been got. Adum kui na chetna rabo chetna ragda ba footprint. Amal left to ramay, and Manipur has given birth to a man. who can give his life for the betterment of his motherland mama le bak da mak ta thwai kat pangam ba ha ba ko adu ba ma pu tho kre ha ba ne so children we have finished our lesson here let's learn some new words along with its meaning the first word is discrimination discrimination means treat differently ha ba di manadana yingbiba the second word is departed departed habadi dead sibadoka protest means object to then talent talent means high mental or artistic ability magi ngambagi chang magi mangon de yaujaba magun then comfort comfort means a state of physical well-being and the last word is commemorative commemorative means be a memorial of ningjing ba gida makta ha ba do ningjing ba ha ba do ni ko children we have learned about his mirabot his mirabot was a very good person he fought for the people of manipur he loved peasants and the laborer very much So he stood for them. He married Princess Komdonchina, but he left all the comfort for the people of Manipur, and he gave of his life for our betterment. And we remember him very fondly on every thirtieth of September as Irabot Day. That is why we call him a hero of Manipur. So children, let's wind up here. Let's meet in next class.